what's up you freaking geniuses so in this video i want to teach you how to multiply different bases and different exponents together all right so here we have five squared times three to the fifth so here you can see that the bases five and three those are both prime and our exponents two and five those are also both prime right so in a case like this you are absolutely no, I'm just kidding. You're, you're going to be fine, all right? So the way that you can solve these or break these down is you can always break down the bigger exponent to match the smaller exponent, all right? So here we can break down this 5 to match this 2. Okay, how do you do that? Great question, young Padawan. So 5 squared, let's just write it out. 5 squared is the same thing as 5 times 5, all right? 3 to the 5th, all right? 3 to the 5th, that's the same thing as... Uh, not a five, <laughs> three times three times three times three times three. Okay, so here five squared, right? We have two numbers, right? That are grouped together. So down here, what if we group two numbers down here? Well, three times three, I could rewrite that as three squared. Oh, interesting. Look, we have the same exponent there. And since we have a bunch of numbers over, a bunch of threes over here, we could do it again. Why don't we take another pair of threes and group those together, okay? And write that as three squared, okay? Again, we have the same exponent. And then we just have this extra three all by itself, right? But in any case, let's rewrite three to the fifth using these exponents. So here we're gonna say that three to the fifth is the same thing as three squared times three squared times three. All right, so now that we broke this down and we have matching exponents, let's rewrite our problem over here, okay? So again, we have uh, five squared times, and instead of three to the fifth, let's write it how we broke it down. So three squared times three squared times three. All right, so times three squared times three squared times three. All right, so as you can see, we have different bases here, right? We have a five, a three, and a three, but since we have the same exponent on these numbers, right? We have a two, a two and a two, what we can do now is just multiply all our bases together, all right? So we're gonna have, let's just write it in parentheses, all right? So we're gonna say, all, we're gonna multiply the bases together. So five times three times three, and then they're all raised to the second power, right? So we're just gonna raise it all to the second power, right? And then we still have this times three out here, so let's attach that sucker right there at the end also. All right, now let's simplify this. So in parentheses, five times three, that's equal to 15, and 15 times three, that's equal to 45, right? So in parentheses right here, we have 45, and that's squared, right? And then we just have that times three right there. All right, now this is pretty simplified, but if your teacher actually wants you to multiply this out, you can multiply 45 times 45, right? That's the same thing as 45 squared, or just plug that into your calculator. But in either case, you're gonna get that 45 times 45 is equal to 2,025. Ooh, almost happy new year. And then times three, right? And then lastly, you can obviously multiply that together and you'll get that this is equal to 6,075. Boom, son or daughter. So if you found the video helpful, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below.